so there's not much gas in the sled. Might have to get some from the snowblower. But uh, let's see. Gotta check the oil. Check the oil. I'm just gonna top up the oil. You always gotta make sure you get enough oil. If not, you'll ruin your motor. It's always nice to top it up before each ride. So we're gonna get dressed up and we're gonna to head to the gas station, fill up the sled. Yeah, just taking a little break. Yes, <laughs> go for a run, run, run. Yeah, just gonna go for a little run. Yeah. Not a bad day. So it's gonna rain now the next couple of days, I think.
What do we got? Chocolate covered blueberries. Really good. Is it blueberries? No. Yeah. There's tracks going up, up through the woods. It's moose tracks. Whatever you bring in the woods, you take out. Yeah, I just love riding. It's just peaceful, especially when you're in no rush. Just take your time. Have a lunch, you even a fire. Have a little cook up. Just enjoy the outdoors. Those tracks right there, it's going out there, actually it's coming up along on the side here. Those tracks are moose tracks and uh, there's just lots of moose in this woods. This is uh, actually we go down further hunting and there's actually some rabbit tracks over there. And uh, I think someone got a rabbit snare out. Yeah. Get the rabbit snares out in there. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but along there is some tracks. There's rabbit tracks, and someone's walking in there with snowshoes. They got some rabbit snares put out in there. So, yeah, there's lots of wildlife around. There's always moose around in the woods. You gotta be careful when you're on trail and if you're driving fast, a moose can pop out trees at any point. So, you have to be careful. You're gonna hit it, it's like hitting a brick, brick wall. And again, this year there's a lot of rabbits, so I didn't put in any snares this year. I should have, but uh, the snow hasn't been that good. And you might think we got a lot of snow. We don't. Uh, we usually have four or five times as much as this easily. So you got to stay on the trail because if you go off the trail, what's going to happen is uh, if there's any rocks or stumps, it might be just beneath the, the snow, you're going to hit it. You could do damage to your sled, definitely damage to your sled but also damage to yourself, you could seriously injure yourself. Because places that you ride normally every year, there's a lot of snow, so you, you, you've never seen what was underneath the snow. So when we have winters like this year, which comes around every few years as a cycle, uh, you don't realize that there's stumps and there's there's uh, rocks, there's, there's barriers underneath the snow that you've never seen before. So when you got little snow like this this year, you gotta be very careful when you're riding. That's not how she was, I didn't buy her like that. Bought her brand new. It's a 600 RMK. And I went and got her wrap. Nice little wrap put on it. So she do get warm, as you can see, the 
snow is melting out of her, dripping down. She's liquid cool, so you need powdered snow to go up and under the, the tunnel. Underneath the tunnel there are some rails, and you keep that cool, keeps the engine cool. But when you got less snow and it's all ice pack, she can overeat. That's why we got these ice scratchers right there hanging off her. Scrapes the snow, creates uh, powder, creates uh, pieces of snow that flicks up underneath the sled. Helps keep her cold. Keep the temperature down so she don't overheat. So we're just going to head in this trail a little ways, turn around. I think we're going to head back. See what we can see along the way. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. We got some pizza. Some pizza! Make things a little easier today for supper. It's beautiful pizza. I didn't drink enough while I was riding. Nice thing about riding, you need to bring lots of water. Keep hydrated. You're burning off a lot of energy, even sweating a bit. So uh, you definitely need your water. Keep hydrated. So I think next week's video, I'm going to uh, have a little cook up outside if the weather is nice. No guarantees, but if the weather is good, I think I'm going to have a little cook up. Maybe some beans and bologna, and some bacon, and some eggs. A little fire. So today was a fantastic day. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Sun was shining. So if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more content, go check out my snowstorm video right over here. And we'll see you in our next video.